something a little tiny bit different for you today. This won't be for everybody. Some of you might get off on this, but um, others might go, nah, it's not for me. I'm gonna talk about toys today. I'm not a big toy collector, but I do have a few. Have a look at this one. This is, a, what is it? I think it's a Series 5 Qui. And I've got a few Series 5 Qui, but this one I really love. Because this was designed by Remy Ruff, who uh, is a, a South London graffiti writer. Has been since the old school. There's his beautiful tag on the back. And his design is just gorgeous. If any of you have seen the... Um, I can't remember, has the Rigid Mouth magazine video been out yet? I think it has, I'm not sure. Anyway, it might have, might have been, might be in the works, uh, might be coming out today in fact. But um, that's Remy's work and uh, he's just, his design is really beautiful. He really understands how to use space. If you look at the design on this set, on this Kui, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's just really, really beautiful. And he's got a gorgeous hand style as well. You see his little rough tag on the back there. And you see that? It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. So there's that one. Let me show you another one. This is by Shock One. It's um it's a dunny. It's a series. what is it? I can't remember what series it is, to be honest. By Kid Robot. Dunny. And look, it's signed. By shock so I contacted shock I know shock a little bit because we've we've signed, we've crossed over at galleries uh, and uh, events and stuff and he was in a book that I that I'd, I'd done a few years back quite a few years back uh, and um, we've had some good chats in the past and uh, very much respect him as an artist he came to one of my my shows and anyway blah 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 I got in touch with him because I seen that these were on the market the unexploded bomb shock and I've seen also that he'd released 20. So I think he'd done like 900 in the normal market. But he'd done 20 that he signed and numbered. And I missed it when it was on sale. And I was gutted. and Because they, they literally sold out in seconds, because they always do. And um, so I contacted him direct. And he said, I've got, I've got two left. Uh, do you want one? I said, yeah, I do. And so um, he put me in touch with the, uh, the geezer who was selling it, and I got one because it came via via shop. And uh, and this is just it's it's just a beautiful piece of design. He's such a clever designer. You know, every so often graphers come along, like the one you've seen before by Remy Ruff. Uh, this one, because this one sits on its head like that. Can you see that? It sits on its head. It sits like that. It's just a genius idea because he's done a few. I think he's done, correct me if I'm wrong, I reckon he's done about three uh, dunnies for uh, for Kid Robot. This is one of my, this is one of my remaining ambitions, you know, is to do a vinyl figure. I would love to do a vinyl figure, absolutely love to. It's an expensive business if you have to do your own. I think I have to wait to be invited, but anyway. That's a really beautiful thing, isn't it? That's my shock one. And look at this beautiful thing. Oh. <laughs> Some of you might have one of these out there. They came in different colors. I think you get an orange one and a, um, a red one and all that. They're actually, if I can get it out. Memory sticks. Uh, they probably they were probably on the market like I don't know, fifteen years ago or something. I'm saying that it could have been any time ago. Time does weird things nowadays, like stretches about. Um, I just thought that was a beautiful thing. A little anything like a little spray can. Oh, I'm just in love with this sort of stuff. Absolutely love it. So I snapped that one up quick. The Montana Black in the tiny tiny. <laughs> Imagine the lines you could get out of that. Whoa. Super tiny. Anyway, so there's that one. Now this one is more of a collectible than a toy. This is the MTN can uh, that, uh, that was released in the name of Dare. This is the um, 
the limited edition dare can and uh it's a bit of a prized possession this you just cannot buy these things they're so rare i mean you can you can buy you know if you've got a collector and offer him quite a lot of money he might part with it but the thing is they're not on the open market really uh they're just yeah because we want to keep hold of them because obviously uh dare is dead and gone rest in peace um tragically and so uh and so you're not going to see this stuff get made again uh so this is a bit of a it's a bit of a grail this one a bit of a grail piece I'll show you a couple more cans. Because I've only got... I'm not a big can collector. If you go to Steam on Instagram, he's a big can collector. And by the way, he's selling most of his stuff. So uh, if you're interested in buying stuff, if you can't collect it yourself, you might want to get on his stuff. It's expensive. It's really expensive because it's all really, really rare. But, um, but you know, you, you won't find them selling anywhere else. So I'm going to show you a couple more cans. So going back a long time ago, I used to write with a guy called Crest, and um, we were great mates, me and Crest. Um, me, Crest, and Jigaloo used to uh, hang out together um, and write together, and we always to live in like this one bedroom, one room flat. <laughs> you know, I'm going back a long time now, 30 odd years plus, and uh, I designed a tattoo for him. In fact, I designed a couple of tattoos for him, one with his kid's name in wild style, and uh, he's got a bunch of my tattoos on his on his arm and instead of i said listen don't you don't have to pay me because we go back a long way we know we're old crew members and everything so but he said i want to get you something so he got me this check it out a bode can bode broad brown it's this brown color but look at that beautiful design isn't it gorgeous that's the rest of the can Got a couple more boards there little lizard there but what a gorgeous thing that is, right? Absolutely beautiful. Love that design. Absolutely love it. I don't know if it's by Vaughan or uh, Mark, actually. Makes no difference, really, does it? They've both got the same style. Really beautiful thing. And I've got another one. I've only got three collectible cans, by the way. Two of them are Bode, one of them's Dare. This is my other Bode one. Isn't it great? It's this sort of, uh, what do they call it? Franklin Gothic Green. And that's definitely Mark Bode, that one. Look at that beautiful machine. Isn't it great? Fantastic design. Can you see that properly? Yeah, it's just a lovely design. Yeah, love it. Love it. So there you go. I uh, just thought I'd end on this piece that I've done recently. Some of you may have seen this piece already if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I didn't do a making of it. it. Took me ages. This piece it was a bit of a nightmare. It was a bit some. Um, it's a bit what's the word? Crenellated, you know, or corrugated. That's the word, isn't it? So uh, I didn't realise that when I first started it. But um, having started, I thought better to finish. So uh, anyway, chaps, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit different. Bit of uh, bit of toy design bit of uh, graffiti toy design that is and, uh, and a tiny bit of art and I will be back with something else soon.